All right, we are getting closer to Election Day, and there is a push to get the Gen Z population out and registered to vote. Joining me right now are Sophia Williams and Tate Bookwald from Connecticut College, as they are two of the organizers of a group called Camel's Vote, helping people interested in uh, learning how to register to vote and to help people with absentee voting. Uh, and my understanding uh, to both of you, you also provide transportation to and from election sites. Is that true? Yes, we do. On the day of election, we have shuttles running to and from New uh, London polling places. That is fantastic. All right, I'm assuming Camel's Vote is a, a reference to Connecticut College, right? You guys are the Camels there. Uh, just tell us uh, how that organization got started, sort of what the impetus was for that. Um, so it was originally a pastor project. Um, the whole point of Camel's Vote is to get people civically engaged, especially our younger generation. Um, and a couple of students started a couple of years ago during the right before the 2020 elections to get people more involved in civic engagement, get people more involved in the community, and especially get more people out of the polls because it is important for our generation to start turning out and turning up for the elections. In a very general sense, how hard has that push been? Because historically, at least over the past half century, getting young people to be that civically engaged has been hard. Has it been easier as it seems like the political environment has gotten more polarized? I think it's honestly been pretty easy. People are really excited to see a at least relatively younger person on the debate stage. We had probably, what, 250, 200 50 people in and out of our debate watch party last night. People are really excited, especially our generation. I'm a first time voter this year, so people are definitely really excited to vote this year. Yeah, I was going to ask just how much of an increase in sort of excitement and activity you see that ties into presidential debates. Uh, and of course, this was just last night, so uh, it might be a little too early to, to be able to tell us in hard numbers how much more of an increase in interest you're seeing. But yeah, what is the general sense that uh, you're seeing there, at least at Khan College, post-debate this morning? Yeah. I was speaking to one of our government department professors last night who hosted a separate debate party, and she was saying that all in all, like we likely had over 300 plus students attending debate watch parties across our campus, which when over 200 people showed up to our debate watch party throughout the night, we were a little bit taken aback. We did not expect that many people to come. We, we did not plan accordingly um, for like snacks and drinks wise, um, but we were so excited that so many students were showing up and caring enough about the debate to come out and watch the entire thing with their peers um, and how involved our government departments have been and our other student advisory board to our government and international relations department. And it's so exciting to see everyone showing up in different realms, whether that be through their studies or like clubs and civic engagement. And uh, once again, I don't want to make assumptions, but historically, usually younger demographics tend to vote more Democratic than Republican. Uh, what was the feeling amongst the, uh, the, the people who were there watching and talking about the debate as to how they felt it went last night? Um, I think we had a lot of positive impact um, reactions to the entire debate debate as a whole. Um, we had a few laughs during the entire debate um, from some of the things that were said by either candidate. Um, and I think we are a very liberal school, so we do tend to lean blue. Um, and that was a little bit shown last night, I would say, but it's up in the air still. And yeah. As an organization, we are completely nonpartisan. We just want people out there and voting. Yeah, just yeah. to be able to voice. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, uh, yeah, and it says right on uh, the Camel's Vote website that you are nonpartisan. The point is just to get people out there. One last question. What, in your uh, opinion, uh, ladies, is uh, do you think is maybe the biggest roadblock to voting that you're seeing with young people? Is it the transportation? Is it the interest? Is it the registration? What are you seeing? I would say we have so many students who are out of state and making sure that students are going to have the ability to mail back their absentee ballots. I think we're having ease helping students request their absentee ballots. There are some places where people have to show up in person to request their absentee ballots, which has been, I would say, the biggest roadblock thus far. But down the road, I would say making sure that students are returning the absentee ballots that they have requested and get students postage. Um, where we hand out stamps to people who come back with their absentee ballots. Um, um, so we cover that um, and just making sure that those are getting things in back in because when someone is in front of us and we're saying, hey, 
hey, have you registered to vote? Have you requested your absentee ballot? How can we help? That's the easy part. But when someone is independently mailed that and making sure that they on their own are getting that back to their um, municipality is going to be the challenge, I think. Okay. You know, last question real quick. Uh, and to be perfectly honest, Sophia and Tate, I was expecting to see two of you when you popped up on Zoom. There's three of you. Who is the third member of, of that group here? Because I, I want to say hi and be able to give you your due. Thank you. Hi, I'm Eliza McAuliffe, so I also work, work for Camel's Vote. <laughs> Excellent. Eliza, thank you so much. I certainly did not mean to ignore you. Sorry, sometimes live TV, my wires got crossed, so I didn't mean it. Thank you to the three of you for joining us today. We do appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.